Hey you guys! I just want to say that I miss you guys so, so, so much and I am so sorry. I have not been active on here for a very long time. After I filmed that video with Cameron, I got incredibly busy with school. It was kind of like that pre-midterm time frame. I was working on a bunch of stuff and I just had midterms. I'm currently on spring break today. It is March 9th and if my face looks a little weird, that is because, that's right friends, I got my wisdom teeth out today and I'm sore. <laughs> I'm almost completely unnumbed. I was numbed all the way up to my ears and, you know, in a tad bit of pain, just a, just a tad, but I am powering through it and we are gonna get videos up for you guys. I am so sorry. So these videos I filmed a little bit ago. I just have not gotten time to edit them yet, but they will be up now. So today's video, products I regret, and then, you know, after that, another video. So. That is why I have not been active. Also, I got a new nose ring. It's pure gold because my other one infected my nose. Yay! But I'm going to be doing kind of like a nice chit-chatty video. Hopefully, if I feel a little better within the next coming days, hopefully I can get some pre-filming done this spring break. But yeah, that is why. And uh, tease. <laughs> Anyways, enjoy the video, guys. And I'm so sorry I have not been active, but we're going to be back. Hey what's up everybody, it's Amaya. Today we're going to be doing one of my favorite videos to film and it is a disappointing products video. I love watching these videos, I love seeing other people's opinions on products like this, and I love filming these videos because I feel like I get to really be honest and talk about products that I just don't like. These products might work for you, they just do not work for me, so please take everything I say with a grain of salt, of course, and yeah suppose we should just hop right into the video. So the first thing I want to talk about is a product that just does not work and I don't know why and I'm really sad because I'm really disappointed. I am disappointed and it also doesn't work. This is the e.l.f. Stay All Day Eyeshadow Primer. I was so excited for this when I saw it on the e.l.f. website. I always love going on e.l.f.'s website every couple of months and seeing all of the new things that they have and this was one of those products. I think it had like a couple reviews, like literally like probably two. They were fairly positive so I was excited. When you squeeze this out, it's kind of like a pinky tone and it feels very like um, silicone-y kind of on your hand. It feels very smoothing and really nice and you're like, oh, okay, this is gonna be really, really nice. But the issue with this is that it dries on your lids patchy. I've tried to put concealer over it or a different like colored primer, doesn't work. Just makes that patch up. I've tried to just put powder over top of it, clumps up. Just like sticky and weird and I don't know what they were trying to do with this but it did not work and I'm really really sad because I was thinking maybe this could be a dupe for the Urban Decay Primer Potion or something like that and no it is not. It is just kind of tacky and weird. It makes your eyeshadow skip and patches off and flakes. Not fun. So continuing on with the eyes, this is definitely a product that's fine. It's cool but did not live up to the hype for me. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Lila Palette. I cannot afford Natasha Denona palettes at all. The only ones that I can afford are these little guys right here because they're like 25 bucks I think and honestly I was like you know that's still a little bit expensive but I think I got this one like even on sale more I think it was like maybe $11. I was like okay I like all the colors in here except for maybe that middle guy right here. So I'll use it, you know, not bad. You guys, I do not understand the hype around Natasha Denona shadows. I don't know if the ones in the little palette are different formulations than the ones in the big palette, but these are like okay eyeshadows. Honestly, the shade I use the most is this one right here, which I believe is called Flint. It's that one right here. It's a really beautiful kind of neutrally brown transition shade, but every time I put it on, it skips. And I always tap my brush off, I try not to put on too much, but it skips. And that's really annoying to me, and it's a big red flag, because these are not cheap shadows. I don't know, it's kind of mm, sus for me. The purples are pretty. Purples are really hard to formulate, and these work fairly well. I have ColourPop shadows that also work really well. I even have Huda Beauty eyeshadows that work the same. Even Morphe eyeshadows that work really well. The shimmer is pretty, but again, it's nothing that I would pay in a big palette like hundreds of dollars for. Hundreds! I don't understand it. Okay, sticking with the eye theme here, this is a product that truly <laughs> 
is bad. This is the Kiko Milano Liquid Eyeshadow, and I have mine in the shade 03, Sicilian Notes, I think it's called. So it has like a matte shade on one side and a shimmer on the other. And I'm a huge fan of liquid eyeshadows. I'm wearing the Stila Glitter and Glow Shadow on my eye right now. I really like them for just an everyday, easy, go-to, swipe it on and go look, and I think they look very pretty and they can look very editorial. It's fun. So I was really excited to get this. I especially liked that it had a matte and a shimmer because I feel like you can do a lot of cool things. So first off, the matte is a gorgeous color, but it's strange. So it's really pigmented, like lipstick pigmented, but the issue is when you blend it out, like it's blending out okay right here, but when you blend it out on your eye, it tends to do like a weird... You can kind of see it right here. It like dries in some spots and not in others. So you get this almost a weird patchy look. Like if you were to literally blend out a liquid lipstick, that's what it feels like. It feels like a liquid lipstick. The issue that I have with this is the shimmer side. This is the lamest shimmer I've ever seen in my life. Wait, do you guys see this? Okay, swipe it on. Not too bad, right? Okay, that's pretty. Let's blend her out. Where'd you go? This literally blends out to nothing. And this is a wide area on my hand, so you can maybe see the sparkles a little bit better. But when you have this on your eye, you literally have like, like dots of sparkles, and that's it. And the color really is not that pigmented. I've tried layering these on top of each other too, and it looks really bad, and they crease. I don't know, you guys. I was expecting so much more from this, because I've heard really good things about Kiko, and I'm pretty sure that these had fairly good reviews online. And I just... No, like the Wet n Wild shadows are better than this. Elf has matte shadows that are better than this. I'm just like, what? Okay, so moving on to the last eye product I have to mention. These are just terrible. And I was really, really disappointed by these because I was really excited. These are the Violet Voss uh, Limited Edition Faux Mink Lashes in the style I Wanted That Way, which, okay, adorable name. And they look really pretty. You guys, I have never been in pain before until I tried on these lashes. I felt these and they felt really stiff, but like that's not an issue because lots of lashes are stiff. You just kind of kind of wiggle them up and then they go on your eye and they work fine. But these are literally razor sharp. I was crying. I had to take off my makeup. I was crying, you guys, trying to put these on. It hurt so bad. The corners were super sharp. The actual lashes are so sharp. Like these are synthetic fibers and I wear synthetic fiber lashes. I don't wear mink lashes. I've never had lashes hurt like this before. Ardell lashes, Coco lashes, Kiss lashes. I'm wearing Morphe lashes right now. None of them have ever physically been painful on my eyes. I could not get these to stick down either, so they kept popping up and like, oh my God, it was so painful. I'm like getting itchy just thinking about it right now. Stabbing me in the inner corners, in the inside of my eye, I would open my eyes and they'd stab me below the eyebrow. Like it was an experience and a very painful one. And I was kind of sad because these were like semi expensive lashes. I think they're like 10 bucks, which is not horrible, but it's also not like $5, you know? I don't know what was going on with these. I thought I had heard good things about Violet Voss lashes. Maybe it's not their synthetic ones. I don't know. These were, these were so disappointing. Okay, I have two more e.l.f. products here and I promise this is not like a crap on e.l.f. video because I love e.l.f. so much. I think they're awesome, but I just bought a lot of e.l.f. stuff recently, so that's why I have a lot to talk about. The first one is a major disappointment because I love the other version of this product. This is the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. Now, I love the regular putty primer that they have, the Poreless Putty Primer, I think it's called. So I was really excited when I saw that they put out a luminous one. And when you look at it at the back of the package, it just kind of looks like this yellowy putty. So you just think, oh, maybe it's gonna be kind of moisturizing, give you a nice glow. Okay, so I opened it up and I applied it a few times and I was like, okay, I have a nice glow. It's hydrating, nothing crazy, but whatever, it's convenient, it's easy. Then the one day I decided, let me try putting it on with a sponge. And I'm pressing it into the skin and I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I'm like, something looks weird. And I go up closer to my mirror and I'm like, oh my God, I have yellow sparkles all over my face. And then I looked closer at this product. And the reason why this is the luminous putty primer is because this product has yellow glitter in it. Let me repeat that one more time. Yellow glitter. I love glitter, obviously, 
obviously. I've talked about it before. Glitter on my face though, that's a no. Especially in something like a primer, which is almost kind of supposed to be like skincare. It's supposed to help your skin. It's supposed to make your skin look nice. This did not make my skin look nice. It made my skin look glittery and it took forever to get out of my sponge. I had to wash my sponge and I couldn't use that sponge for a while because it had so much glitter in it. It was, oh my God, it's a nightmare. The fact that it's yellow glitter, I was like, at least it could be like translucent glitter, but no, it's literally yellow. I'm like, what the heck? Okay, and then the last e.l.f. product I have to talk about, which again, I love e.l.f., but this is the Halo Glow Setting Powder. And I believe I tried this out in a trying new makeup video, and I liked it at first. It was nice, it was fine. E.l.f. powders in the past have always been a fail for me. I keep trying them religiously, trying to find one that's going to work because I love e.l.f. and I think they do make good products. But this one, I had very high hopes for this one because when I opened it up, I was like, okay, it looks a little bit better. It felt a lot nicer. Like e.l.f. powders can feel very like thin sometimes and almost like they do nothing. But this one had a little bit more substance to it. It was nice, but not too full coverage. I was like, okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. So I tried this with a sponge and it looked fine. It kind of looked a little powdery, but nothing like out of the ordinary. Try it again with a sponge and my makeup was definitely breaking up throughout the day. So I was like, all right, let's just ditch the sponge and just try with a brush. Cause I've actually been applying my powders with brushes lately and really liking the result. So I did that and oh my gosh, you guys, I came home from school after being at school for a few hours, looked in the mirror and my mascara had run all underneath my eyes and I use the same mascara every day, so it wasn't the mascara. My concealer was breaking up and this powder was like patching off. Oh my God, it does not make your concealer stay. And I don't use a ton of concealer. I use a lot less than I used to. It made my concealer look worse. Like I should have just left my concealer unpowdered. It would have stayed better. I don't understand, Elf, how you can mess up powder this much because you guys do so many things so well, but this, no bueno. All right, this product was not really disappointing because I didn't really have any expectations for it, but I just don't get it. This is the Rodial Illuminating Ultimate Glow Primer Soft Focus Glow Drops. Cameron used this on me in my Boyfriend Does My Makeup tutorial, which is a really funny video, so if you haven't seen that, go check it out. I have heard a lot of good things about Rodial, and so I was really excited, especially because they're a more pricey brand that I don't get to use. So I've used this a few times, and every time I put it on, I'm just like, okay. Like I don't notice any sort of soft focus or sort of glow aspect. Kind of made my face look pink and I tried mixing it in with foundation one time. Oh my god, it literally turned my foundation pink. I was like, uh, abort, <laughs> abort mission. It was not good at all. I was not impressed. I don't understand what this is supposed to do and it does turn your face pink. So if you have really fair skin or really dark skin, you will definitely notice some sort of color change with this. I don't know. Okay, so next I have some highlighters to talk about, which makes me really sad because I love highlighters so much. This is the Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow. So I have the blush and glow, and I loved it. It's really good. I like it a lot. I love the blush, I love the highlighter. So I was really excited to try this because the bronzer looked like a really nice color online, and even in person, it's nice. It's more like a reddish tone bronzer, which I don't have a lot of, but I do like using, especially when I'm a little bit more tan. Cute, right? Uh, no. So first off, this bronzer feels so creamy and so soft, but you swatch it and it's kind of patchy and it goes on that way on the face. It looks very like reddish, almost like a blush. So maybe it's just my skin tone that's not really working well, but it doesn't blend well either. And the highlighter in here is so bad. I'm just gonna say it, like it is so bad. It is not anything like the Natasha Denona highlighter in the Blush and Glow, which is just so creamy and beautiful, almost a little bit of like a satin shade. So it just looks so like blurred and poreless on the skin. This is like chunky and glittery. Let me see if I can swatch this in a spot where I don't have anything yet. Like, it looks like an eyeshadow. This does not feel like Natasha Denona formula. I really like her blush and glow. This is just not as good and I'm really disappointed by it because I was so excited. I love these little guys. They're so fun and convenient and cute. I don't know, I really like them. This, not so much. I do not recommend this one. Get the blush one, not this one. Okay, next I have another highlightery product. This is the Sleek Makeup highlighting palette in Cleopatra's Kiss. I'm probably blinding you guys right now, I'm so sorry. So I have the original Solstice palette and I love it. I know a lot of people have mixed opinions on that, but I personally really like it and I think it looks a lot more natural if you just use a little bit of it. So I was really excited to get the Cleopatra one because it's a little bit more of a golden, dark, bronzy kind of 
theme going on. But the issue that I have with this is that these are very glittery and the other ones are not glittery like this. Like these two darker bronzy shades have like loose glitter in them. Those are not the highlighters that I know from Sleek. Like, I'm actually wearing a Sleek highlighter right now. It's their single highlighter, and I think it's in Solstice something. I don't know. It's one of their single ones, and I love it. But these are very, like, scratchy. Like, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Let me try to do some ASMR here. Not impressed, and I was really sad because I really wanted to like this. The single highlighter, great. Solstice palette, great. This one, don't recommend. And the last product... It's something that I just don't understand <laughs> because I don't understand why this product doesn't work. This is the NYX Bear With Me Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Lip Conditioner. So I'm a big believer in cannabis and I'm a big believer in CBD, all that sorts of fun stuff. And I know that NYX has kind of been riding like the cannabis trend. And I was like, okay, it's a little bit gimmicky, but it had fairly good reviews. And I'm always looking for a new lip product to help me with my severely dry lips. And I thought, okay, why not try this? It has a nice doe foot applicator. It's not a squeezy tube like most of them. This will be nice. This dries out my lips. <laughs> And I'm confused. I have a sensitivity to some ingredients in lip balms. I don't know if it's beeswax or what it is. This, I would put on my lips while I was doing my makeup and let it, like, you know, let it moisturize. I would be done with my makeup and I'd be like, my lips feel weird. And I would look and there'd be like dry skin peeling off my lips. And I was like, what the heck? I used it several times just to make sure it wasn't, you know, my lips that day. But it just kept getting worse and I felt like it was drying out my lips. Even when I would put it on like a thick layer at night, I would wake up and it would just kind of be like a crusted layer over my lips. I don't know what the heck, but I was not a fan at all, which is really sad because it's a cute, cute little concept and I like it but the formula is just not for me. So that is all the products that I have to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please stay happy, stay healthy, stay beautiful, stay awesome. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.